U.S. joint forces conducted coordinated multi-domain, multi-axis, long-range maritime strikes in the Hawaiian Islands operating area. During a sinking exercise on the decommissioned guided missile frigate USS Ingram, August 15. Units from Vincent Carrier Strike Group, VINCSG, Submarine Forces Pacific, 1 Marine Expeditionary Force or 3rd Marine Air Wing, 3 Marine Expeditionary or 3rd Marine Division, and U.S. Army Multi-Domain Task Force participated in the joint, live fire exercise. Lethal combat power was effectively applied to a variety of maritime threats, over the last two weeks in a simulated environment as part of the Navy's large-scale exercise, an expertly demonstrated Sunday with live ordnance, said U.S. 3rd Fleet Commander Vice Admiral Steve Kohler. The precise and coordinated strikes from the Navy and our joint teammates resulted in the rapid destruction and sinking of the target ship and exemplify our ability to decisively apply force in the maritime battlespace. Former Navy vessels used in sinking exercises, referred to as hulks, are prepared in strict compliance with regulations prescribed, and enforced by the Environmental Protection Agency under a general permit the Navy holds pursuant to the Marine Protection, Research and Sanctuaries Act. Each exercise is required to sink the hulk in at least 1,000 fathoms, 6,000 feet, of water, and at least 50 nautical miles from land and surveys are conducted to safeguard against harm to people or marine mammals during the event. Prior to being transported for participation in a sinking exercise, each vessel is put through a rigorous cleaning process for environmental safety and is inspected to ensure the ship meets EPA requirements. X Ingram was a guided missile frigate commissioned on August 5, 1989 and was decommissioned on January 30, 2015. The ship was named for Duncan Nathaniel Ingram and is the fourth Navy ship with the namesake. It is the second of its name to be used in a sinking exercise. USS Ingram, DD-694, which was decommissioned in 1971 and sold to the Greek Navy, was sunk in 2001. As an integral part of U.S. Pacific Fleet, U.S. Third Fleet operates naval forces in the Indo-Pacific in addition to providing realistic and relevant training necessary to execute our Navy's timeless roles of sea control and power projection. U.S. Third Fleet works in close coordination with other numbered fleets to provide commanders with capable, ready forces to deploy forward and win in day-to-day -day competition, in crisis, and in conflict. A naval strike missile is launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility Barking Sands before striking a naval target ship, the decommissioned guided missile frigate USS Ingram. The missile flew more than 100 nautical miles before finding its mark. The live fire sinking exercise demonstrated a Marine Fire's expeditionary advanced base's ability to sense, target and strike a target at sea, providing sea control or contributing to sea denial in fleet operations. The Marine Corps Force designed 2030 centers on Marines providing long-range precision strike capabilities as a stand-in force during littoral operations in a contested environment. An FA-18E Super Hornet, assigned to the Golden Dragons of Strike Fighter Squadron, VFA-192, launches from the flight deck of Nimitz-class aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson, CVN-70, to participate in a sinking exercise. The exercise synchronized joint, multi-domain, multi-axis fires with near-simultaneous times on target to sink the Hulk. <laughs>